Well, in all my years of pretending to be a mechanic, I've never changed leaf springs. Usually just like because I turned down the job. It was too dirty and I fixed most of my cars in the winter time and I hate laying underneath slushy dripping cars in the winter time. So anyways, it doesn't look like that big a deal. I got the good steel kind that come in the newer Aerostar vans. I mean the newer Astro vans. These are off a of 99. I did some measurements. They look like they're going to fit. I paid the auto wreckers extra to take the clampers and all the hardware off without cutting with a torch or breaking it. He said it wasn't as difficult as he thought, so that should all work out for me, no problem. I've got good bolts now. Time to get her jacked up. So I'm deep into the job now. Not too many problems, taking the old bolts off with the torch. Got the old broken clamper bracket off. You can see how rotten it was where it broke. Now it's all bent up. Anyways, these are the two bolts that hold the front of the leaf spring on. Got the one off, it knocked out no problem. Not even rusty all the way. Well, because there's some tension on that spring, even though the head is cut off the other side, it twists but I can't pull it out. So I got my trusty sawzall, and since that's a fiberglass spring, I should be able to cut right through it. Normally the bolts would be installed this way going through, but since the gas tank's in the way and I don't feel like removing that, I cut the head off and pulling them out this way, it looks like there's enough room to put the new bolts in that way, so that'll work out no problem. Got my differential held up by a jack and a stand. A jack and a log in the rear bumper and a jack and a log on the frame. Then I gotta put it all back together and do the other side. Doesn't look like any big deal. Well, that took all of about one minute to cut. Simple. The bolt's coming now, no problem. I'm just wiggling it. Well, getting this long pry bar in there at the same time. Got it. Now let's see if that contraption will knock out. Sweet. I just slip the new one in the pocket. Once I get that end done the same way, except it's only got one bolt, so that's simpler. Well, getting the back out wasn't too difficult, just a shower of rust. Nair tool, got the bolt on done with some difficulty. And got the shackle out. And the other half of this piece of crap fell out. Huh, next problem. Frame is kind of rotten. It's a little better where the pockets are, where the shackle goes in, but I hope this van holds together after all this work. simple to slip the new steel leaf spring in but we've run into one problem I've got this big clamper to hold everything together so I can get the bolts on but the lower clamper that goes under the axle this is the one I got in the records which they saved in great condition well <laughs> a little bit different I've already cut the bolts in this one so that means I've got to repair that end burn out that end and put new bolts in and use this lower clamper because this one just doesn't quite reach the axle. It's got too much of a cup in it. Oh well, the next problem is the upper clamper is just not quite as wide to fit over the thing at the bottom so I had to pound it down and squeeze it but it looks like with a bit of effort it's going to work. So now you know how to modify your Astro or Savari van. Most of it works. So there's what the repaired clamper looks like. Well, a nice thick chunk of metal in there. Do good as new. Redneck enough for me. And now to add a couple longer bolts. Now just a bit of final assembly. Everything went together, no problem. 
Well, done. The first side took me two and a half hours. Or about a th three beer job. Ready to slam this side together and get on the next side. Gotta get back in time to do more emails. That sucks. Well, the next side should take about half the time since I don't have a gas tank in the way and I know what little modifications I gotta make to make this thing work on this vehicle. So I'll give you a shot when it's done. Sweet. Well, this side only took an hour and 15 minutes. Knew exactly what to do. Ready for a test drive, except I found out from so many brake stands that the rear shoes have peeled right off the backing plate. No wonder we didn't have good brakes on this thing. So before I go for a good run, I don't want to blow the cylinders. I'm going to have to put new rear brakes on it to get ready for this weekend's racing on the field. The weed is off. Awesome. And pop some super wheelies. I hope.